you so much. The mic is all yours. Thanks very much for the opportunity. It's a really good pleasure to be here in the room. Uh, I have been a speaker on Pal Talk in different rooms. I uh, quite often go into the Christian rooms and uh, just you know express my inner life, my inner light, my Christ itself uh, into the rooms. And uh, yes, Two Minds, One Choice is a book I've written like last year. It got published uh, early this year. And I, I suppose it speaks volumes just in the title, you know, Two Minds, One Choice, and how we, we seem to have two different um, sources of information coming into our mind, one from the, the reality fields of our creative source, and uh, one from this world of illusion or vain imaginations or programs, and how there really is only one choice we can make, and that is to constantly use the mind which works, the mind that is the creative mind, that is the flow of life, that, that transforms everything in this world actually, uh, when we continue to use it. And uh, just listening to Chris in the room earlier on, and some of the distractions that can uh, let our focus wander away from that point of power how there are many distractions in this world that would continue to um, you know, cause us to digress or to be distracted, to um, follow some of those energetic imprints that are sort of stored down there uh, in our biological computer, those sort of historical references that surface and uh, run their own little program. It's, it's very easy at times to get distracted and uh, start running these other agendas that we're here to really dissolve those historical references that are, um, well, like records in time playing over and over in your mind. And uh, to remain diligent and determined, focused upon our one function and purpose and aim and goal is, is to train our mind to recognize when uh, we're being distracted. And <laughs> it seems to be a very easy thing to do you know, in this world because there are so many influences around us. Uh, to remain in the world and not of it, it certainly is a, a big task at hand to, to, I suppose, train our mind to remain focused on that one point of power to flow in, to dissolve the distractions. And uh, it's been my experience, I suppose, in the past to, uh, to really uh, dedicate myself to that, even in my sleeping hours, like... Uh, say to myself before I go off to sleep, let me remain focused even in my sleep, uh, in the regeneration of my mind, uh, so that every moment of time would be dedicated to undoing and renewing, or remembering the original imprint of life springing forth into expression through, through me, uh, through my uh, anatomy here in the world. And, and it seems to be that the more dedicated you do become, to uh, the focus and the intention of the one function and purpose, that the easier it becomes uh, to, to some degree. Although in saying that, uh, the more energy of the life currents that rise up uh, within you also uh, stir up from the bottom of the pond uh, a bit of the muck that's been hidden down there that actually required a higher frequency to, um, to bring up into into the presence of your mind, so that you could actually, uh, through the increase of frequency, pe penetrate and permeate those deep, dark recesses of your mind that you, you couldn't normally find um, when you first started off on the journey. So even though things are getting easier in some respect, uh, you're also stirring up a lot more uh, depth, and we're going to deeper and deeper levels of, uh, I suppose, compaction of thought, uh, those layers upon layers upon layers of uh, memory that's been filed down there in the biological computer. You know, it's surfacing now, and uh, like Chris said, it's a blessing when it does surface because at that now moment is your opportunity to, uh, to deal with it because you can see it. You know, it's coming up because it is being healed. It's on the process of coming through, and it was suppressed up until that point. And so it's a blessing to actually see it. It's a, it's a wonderful thing, you know, to, um, to, to behold these these rising energies and thoughts and patterns, expressions that, are, that, that sort of make your body shudder a little bit and in the, 
your body tremors uh, as these things rise, but in your mind you know that this is the healing process. This is what we are uh, engaging in. This, this is why we're walking in this journey to, I suppose, walk again the fields of our dreams, to awaken in the dream of separation and to actually have that opportunity to choose again, to choose again right in that now moment when the energy emerges in your consciousness and, and you have uh, the ability and the tools within your knowledge now to actually release it, transmute it, and uh, go deeper again because uh, we're going to to get right back to the very first moment where uh, fear took the place of love, you know, and, uh, and of course it's, everything is held within that moment and expansion of that moment. And uh, this world is a, I suppose, a conglomerate of thoughts from the many different individual members that constitute the one, uh, all expressing the projections of their delusion in, in, in a multitude of blending frequencies that we call this world. And so to to see the uh, holographic form and the dance of uh, energies and, and all of the actors on the stage uh, working through the process of regeneration or even staying in their blindness. I mean, to, to look with eyes of love upon others who haven't quite seen the message yet or haven't felt the energy or know of the Christ itself which is about to emerge as, as an alternative. Uh, as an option that they can take right now to to start purifying their holographic form and, and to actually write a new script for themselves. Uh, you know, and we could be the, the script writer, the actor and the stage producer of our life once we know the principles involved of um, creating the hologram that we want and raising our frequency to incorporate greater union and greater communication uh, in, into the, the whole stage of life so that we all would be uh, on the same page. We all would be uh, deliberately rewriting our book of life and expressing the, the joyful uh, remembrance that's emerging now uh, together and uh, s see that beautiful light shining and emanating in our brothers around about us. And I suppose that's been one of the, the major things that uh, I learned. I, I actually, um, while I was walking in the world for a long, long time, you know, I, I did have some flashes of insight back in my early days, you know, I was born in 1951, uh, as a child I had amazing dreams and visions, but it, it seemed to go, it dissipated, um, back in 1986 I had a sort of a, a, a death experience where my body actually died and I came back with many dreams and visions, and uh, back in 94 I had a real uh, great awakening and there's been things going on all the time, but uh, it, to me it's like uh, I started journeying back in 96, I started journeying in, in the Christian church because I, I thought there was something in, in this life of Christ because it, it became an inner revelation to me and, a, and an expansion of mind and I went to the church to find out more about it and of course, you know, I was very enthusiastic in those days and uh, after some time I realized that it wasn't the same frequency, they were speaking something different, although, you know, the idea was beautiful and... Uh, I got past that church idea and I started writing books. I started writing books and built a few websites and I found that just the expression of my inner self emerging through the, the fingertips of my hands on the keyboard and, and through tuning to, to the Holy Spirit and saying, what shall I write? I found that I was teaching myself just through the keyboard and the energetic expression that my body, you know, as an, in, as an instrument of expression, I was teaching myself. And as I would read uh, the things I was writing, I thought, wow, that's, that's amazing, you know. <laughs> and uh, I, I wish I knew that. Well, I just found out that I do know that. I just found out that that is me coming through. Uh, it may not be a very clear message yet, but it is an expression that's coming out of me. It's coming into form. I'm able to see it and understand it to a clearer degree as time goes on. And I, I became a clearer and clearer writer and speaker because I found that this inner voice uh, is, is a frequency of union uh, beyond time that works through all the time matrices and densities of expression uh, in matter and through form. And so I realized that I am the instrument of the expression of that which abides outside of time. 
and it works in time through me, through others, through every particle of consciousness actually, uh, as consciousness evolves back to its full unity and out of time expression.